Hey what's up hello guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Mika, aka Mika Reads, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something super fun and something that I've been wanting to do for a while, which is decorating my Kindle. I am super excited. I got my stickers off Redbubble. I ordered these back in like January when I got my Kindle, but there was a lot of issues with like the original package getting lost, so I had to get a replacement and they're finally here. With that said, one thing I wasn't expecting was how big the stickers were going to be. For example, there's this one that I got, which is right here, which is like a stamp of Basgyoth, which is a college from Fourth Wing. And it's about this big compared to my Kindle. I thought it was going to be the size of a stamp. So I'm actually a little bit worried that we're not going to be able to fit all of these in the Kindle, so we're gonna have to pick and choose, but I also do plan on like overlapping them, so we'll see how much I'm able to fit. The red bubble stickers always come kinda like on a strip, so I am gonna have to cut them out. So while I cut it out, I figured we could like chat about what I'm reading this month and how my reads are going, as well as my thoughts on the Kindle. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So my first thoughts with the Kindle, now that I've had it for about two months, are that it's amazing. Best investment ever. Honestly, if you're thinking of getting a Kindle, like, this is, this is your sign. Go get a Kindle. Ever since I got a Kindle, I've been able to read just, like, a lot more, especially with how busy my schedule is, how hectic things are getting, and it just makes reading a lot more convenient and a lot easier, especially with traveling. So I'm a full-time student, I'm taking 19 credits this semester, and I also work two part-time jobs as well as doing like observation and shadowing for one of my classes in my future career. So I'm a very, very busy gal, and there are not a lot of times for me to be able to read or where it's convenient for me to like be holding a book and like multitasking, aka why I got a Kindle. So I usually take a hot bath every night before I shower because I also do powerlifting and my muscles are super sore and I found that taking a hot bath every night helps with like relieving soreness. So I like to read in the bath. It might sound weird, sorry if it's weird, but it's actually really fun and I do it a lot and before I would just like kind of hang over the edge with like my physical book and try to like flip pages to like avoid getting them wet. And it was getting annoying and it was getting a hassle, but it was like one of the only times I was able to like read uninterrupted. So I put up with it and then I really just wasn't having it. So I was like, okay, maybe it's time I get a Kindle. There we go. We went ahead and cut out one. Besides reading in the bathtub, another place that I do a lot of my reading is in bed at night. And my boyfriend's a light sleeper. He's very sensitive to like the light and whatnot. So we don't even have like a night lamp on. The TV is already a lot. At one point he started sleeping with a sleep mask because I can't go to sleep without a TV. Um, I like overthink and I hear every little noise and freak out that I need to have something playing. Before I used to read on my physical book and I would just use a reading light or I'd like hold my flashlight but it was becoming a hassle. And honestly, trying to read on your side while getting snuggled and holding a physical book and trying to flip pages is very, very hard. So, all in behold, I got a Kindle and it actually makes reading a bit a lot easier because it's like a screen, you know, you're able to just like sit on your side, hold it, and tap it away without like your arm getting tired. Aside from reading like a Kindle in, you know, places where it's convenient, it's also very convenient for traveling. Instead of having to carry around a lot of books now whenever I travel, I'm able to just bring my Kindle because you can have a Kindle library, you can have a lot of books loaded on there. So it's like, you're carrying this small little portable thing and you have like endless books in here. I finish a book on here, okay cool, tap, next one started. Like you're able to just read so much more with the Kindle. I would also like to preface that even though I am reading a lot on my Kindle, I'm still buying the physical books because my goal is to have a thousand books one day so I can have like an official library. So I do want to collect um, my physical books. So don't get me wrong there, I'm not fully switching to the Kindle, I'm just using it for times that are more convenient. And as well as it goes with, like, you know, why are you spending money on, like, ebooks and physical books? Well, for those who do not know, when you get a Kindle, you get three months free of Kindle Unlimited. Therefore, you can read a ton of books for free for three months. So I'm not, like, buying the ebooks of books that aren't available on Kindle Unlimited. If it's, like, not available, I'll just read the paperback if I have it. I only switch between the Kindle and the paperback if it's free on Kindle Unlimited. But yeah, overall, like I said, I don't know how, like, good my explanation was. I'm gonna have to watch it back when I edit it. But I'm hoping that I'm kind of swaying 
making your decision on getting a Kindle if you're thinking about getting a Kindle because I just want to say it's great, it's awesome, and you know, you get to like personalize it with all these stickers. Anyways, that's like the sum of my review of having a Kindle for the past three months. Now I'm going to go ahead and just focus on cutting the rest of the stickers. A few moments later. Okay, now that I finished cutting up all the stickers, we're gonna go ahead and test out some designs on the Kindle. So I'm thinking, um, you guys are probably not gonna see me. I think I'm gonna just like have it face down as I try like a bunch of like different combinations until I find one that I like. Okay, so I have the camera kind of set up so you guys can see the Kindle as well as like all the stickers that I have over here. So I know I for sure want to put the Azrael Recent and Cassian sticker that I have right here. It has like three hearts in their name. So ah, this is the one thing I hate. I thought this was going to be like this big. So I could put it here, but it kind of like takes up a whole row. So maybe at the bottom, like right there, I'll have them. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with this design. I really hope it does not move because I've been trying so hard. But I think I really like this. So I have like Taran and Arndarna right here. The Recent's Calling, The Three Bat Boys, Marley Gray Men, Hi Lady, The CEO, Reading Smut Quote, and The Romantic Book Club Ticket. And honestly, I don't know how a lot of you guys do this, but I'm super scared that I'm going to fail at this. Oh my god, oh my god. How do you guys fit this? This is so scary. Oh. Fudge, I just messed it up. <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay, this is salvageable. We just reach in, turn that, click, and then, oh, this is not aesthetic at all. Okay guys, so my camera died, but anyways, as it died, I ended up coming up with this little design so I have the little piece of Taryn and Andarna from Fourth Wayne, the little recent calling I managed to fit the three Bat Boy hearts as real recent and Cassian though the tail does kind of cover up part of it I have the heart that says Morley Gray Men, the Romantic Sea Book Club sticker, Hi Lady as well as the CEO of Reading Smut and letting people think I'm an intellectual overall I don't like like Goo Goo Gaga love it because I do wish I was able to fit a bunch of these stickers on there as well like as if they were smaller but I do I do love it for like what it is even though it's not that much and I hope you guys love it too Rids cannot describe how hard it was choosing between the different stickers because there is a lot that I didn't get to use that I really loved which is why I'm not like super super in love with this Kindle I mean I still am in love like honestly I'd give this like a 4.5 out of 5 if we were to rate it because yeah look at how cute she is she's starting to grow on me I can't wait to get a pop socket and I'm probably gonna add it here but I really do wish I got to add the rest of the stickers anyways I hope you guys really enjoyed this short little video and I know it's not as long as my usual videos but I thought it would be fun to you know take you guys along with me while I decorated my Kindle because you know it's my Kindle I use this a lot I read my books on it and this is my booktube so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what videos you guys want to see next as well as your thoughts on the final cover. And I will see you guys next video. Bye!